All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to break into a Windows system and access the SAM file and then break the passwords for each of the accounts in it. Um, so I've got a Oracle Virtual Box here, and I've got my first virtual machine, and it has Windows XP on it. And as you can see, we've got three different user accounts in it, Victim 1, Victim 2, and Victim 3. And I'm going to attempt to break into every single one of them, each of them with a different password. Now, I could enter passwords all day long on here, but it's going to take forever in order to ever get it into it that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to log out of this thing, turn it off. And then, in that virtual machine, we're going to simulate booting a live version of Backtrack by going into the settings. And then I'm going to add a CD ROM in here, and I'm going to add my Backtrack ISO, just as if I had put a live CD inside of a Windows machine, and then we're going to boot from that. Um, you can also load Backtrack Live to a USB drive, so I'm going to press F12 to boot, and then boot to CD and now we have Backtrack booting up on our Windows machine. And still waiting for it to load. Okay, now you're going to use uh, Start X to open the GUI interface for Backtrack. And now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount the hard drive for the Windows machine. So we're going to open up a uh, console and then fdisk-l and that'll list the different hard drives that are available or the different disks that are available and as you can see our hard drive is slash dev slash sda1 so we'll go ahead and mount and then specify that disk and then slash mount or slash root slash And now that we've mounted that, we can go ahead and close that out, and we're going to open up our GUI directory. And as you can see, this is our Windows hard drive. Um, we've got our Windows folder here. Um, also, it's labeled root, as we just specified when we mounted it. So we'll go into Windows folder, and then we're going to go into the System32 folder. And then we're going to go into the Config folder. And here's where our SAM file is. Now the SAM file contains all of the passwords for and all of the user accounts for the Windows system. Now if we actually open it up, you can see that the problem is, if you look at the SAM file, it has quite a few of the user accounts in plain text. Is We've got victim1. Uh, we also have administrator here. Um, the problem is the actual hashes for the passwords are encrypted um, and those are encrypted with something called the boot key so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get a boot key so we're gonna go to the config folder and then run terminal here convenient feature and backtrack um, and then we're gonna try to access the boot key by using a BK hive or boot key hive uh, then system then boot key dot txt and that's going to load the boot key to the uh, boot key.txt file. And then we're going to use that file in order to dump the SAM file unencrypted. Uh, and so SAM dump to SAM boot key.txt to SAM dump.txt. And what that does is it dumps the decrypted SAM file into this text file, SAM dump. If we go now into the config folder, you can see that it just created this text file, and if we open it up, then you will see that we now have unencrypted the usernames and the password hash for every single one of the passwords. Um, also notice that each of these password hashes are actually in two different parts. Um, they uh, the hashes are actually a 14-byte hash divided into two 7-part 
or seven byte uh, hashes. Uh, now we'll change directory and go into our pen test passwords John directory and then dot slash John. Uh, if you're not familiar with that in Linux, that just specifies that we're using an application in the John folder that we're in. And then uh, we're going to specify the argument, which is going to be slash root slash windows slash system32 slash config slash sam dump text. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to use John the Ripper in order to analyze the sam dump text file. And as you can see, it's starting to break the different passwords for each of the accounts right now. Uh, victim 1, the password is flash. Victim 2, now here's the thing. If we've got a, uh, an account that has more than seven characters, it's actually going to split it into two different parts. As you can see, uh, victim 2, or victim 3 is broken into two different sections. Uh, so, okay, so we got flash for victim 1. So we'll go ahead and test out the password that we just cracked. And so we'll go ahead and shut down our virtual machine. And we're going to go ahead and remove the backtrack disk. And then load back into Windows. So storage and remove disk from virtual drive. And OK. And then let's boot it back up. and let's go into victim one and flash and as you can see it works so uh... basically what this is going to show you is that uh... the importance of physical security